Luigi Sacco Hospital in Milan is typical of the front lines in the battle against HIV AIDS. It's a busy place full of both recently diagnosed and long-time patients who are all here for one vital thing, antiretroviral drugs. The first time when he told me that I had to take four different kinds of uh, pills, I was really scared because um, everyone knows that they bring a lot of problems. The drugs are chosen from 27 possible medications. Typically, a cocktail of three or more of those drugs is given in a single dose. They're designed to suppress the virus in the body and often make transmission more difficult. But Dr. Jay Levy, an American physician among the very first to discover the virus in the 1980s, worries that the drugs may be inviting disaster. He believes that the unchecked use of antiretroviral drugs may help the virus to mutate into a resistant form, one that we cannot treat. I'm quite concerned that if we continue to advocate the use of the drugs in this country or in Europe, where they have the funds to do it, we may be breeding the eventual emergence of a multi-resistant virus that can come back and haunt us. Resistance can develop when patients have too little of a drug in their body, an inconsistent amount, or only a single kind. This is why the drugs are typically given in large doses and in cocktails of three or more. Dr. Robert Schaefer studies drug-resistant viruses and says that most antiretroviral cocktails remain effective. In combination, these drugs maintain efficacy. So I think we're a long way off from uh, the situation where HIV will become uh, um, significantly more difficult to treat. But the Centers for Disease Control now reports that only 3 in 10 HIV-positive Americans has the virus under control. And in Milan, Jacopo's doctors say the outlook for developing new drugs is bleak. Now we are uh, in, a, in a phase where we don't have a lot of upcoming drugs, so the pipelines of companies are pretty dry, and also the targets are different. Till this moment, drugs are working, hopefully. I'm afraid of the future if someday maybe we'll, they will stop work or they will bring me other problems or, you know, future is the thing that most scare me now. For the moment, the strategy is to medicate as many people as early in their infections as possible, essentially holding the virus off until someone finds a way to eradicate it. But that approach comes with risks, because eradication is something experts increasingly believe we're unlikely to see for decades. Jacob Ward, Al Jazeera, San Francisco.